Hi, welcome back to the course. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have passed the employee ID to the controller to perform the delete operation. And in this video, we're going to take that employee ID and we will be passing it to the DAO. And in the DAO, we'll be deleting the employee record. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, I'll open the employee mapper.xml. So here we will be writing the delete query. So in order to perform the delete operation, or in order to write a delete query, we will be using a delete tag. To this delete tag, we will be passing two attributes. One is ID and the second attribute is parameter type. So the ID, you already know, uh, we have to provide a unique value or the unique ident identifier to this query. So I'm gonna call this delete employee you can give any name you want but it should be unique and the second attribute is parameter type so we have to tell the parameter type whether it is an integer or it is a string or it is a boolean we have to provide the parameter type so the parameter type which is nothing but integer and inside this we will be writing a delete query so the query is delete from employee which is our table where id is equal to hash within the curly braces we have to provide the employee id so i'm gonna call this employee id and in the dao.java we need we should create a parameter name with this name so now let's save this and i'll go to the employee mapper.java and let me create a white space and I'm going to create a method public void and I'm going to call this delete employee and we will be passing the employee id so I'm going to call this employee id so inside this I'm going to copy the session I mean we need to get the SQL session so let's paste it so once we get the session using the session we will be calling the delete method to this delete method we will be passing two parameters one is the name and the second parameter is the employee ID this delete employee which is nothing but if you go to the XML or the mapper XML if you have given an ID to the delete tag so this ID name and this name should match okay and the second para second parameter which is nothing but the employee ID this employee ID should match with this Next, I'm going to call commit and close method on the session object. So let's copy the same code or the same lines and paste it. So let's save this. And inside our employee controller, what I'll do is I'm going to get rid of this system.out.println and I'm going to use the mapper object and I'm going to call the delete employee method. And we will be passing the employee ID and let's save this and I'm going to run the application and we will be testing the application so right click run as run on server click finish all right the application is started and it is opened in a new tab I'm going to close the previous one and I have changed the records I have given a proper employee records or the proper names so now let's try to delete the second record which is having a name Arjun so before that if I go to the database and the Arjun is there in the database and like we have three records and I'm going to delete the the second record so it will ask for the confirmation let's click OK and the record has been deleted and it will redirect back to the least employees.jsp and the table has been updated so let's verify in the database. I'm going to rerun the query. And of course, in the record, in the database also, that 
the record has been deleted let's try one more time uh, and let's try for the another record i'm going to delete the last record which is priya and i'm going to click ok and the record has been deleted and in the database also the record has been deleted so now in the database we have only one record which is Praveen so this ends the delete operation so in the next video we will be starting up with the update operation so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video